Hi guys, 606 here. Just uh, want to cover a couple things on the ACA 1.6. Um, first thing we're going to look at is the power connector here. The uh, ground bus is just a piece of the black or the uh, blue wire stripped and that's going to go over the single tab here for the ground. The, the ground bus connects the two reds, because remember those are actually ground, but we, uh, we flip them around and we call ground red here. Um, it's going to have the, the two black wires going to the PCBs for power, and it's going to have the, uh, the, the pin 1 of the XLR connected to it. The center pin of this connector has the double twisted red. I put a little bit of heat shrink over this just for insulation, and, if, and you can choose to do that or not, as you see, and that's going to go up to the front switch. Okay, moving up, we've got the switch here configured to make it uh, in between RCA mono and RCA, uh, excuse me, RCA input monoblock, bridge monoblock, or standard stereo. If you see that every both connections are on the same side of the switch, that's the center, that's the bottom, and then uh, we're going to go ahead and bring that down to the uh, black output on the white side. It's going to go to the middle part of the switch through the 39k resistor to the input of the uh, to the input of the red. Now the red gets pretty busy. The red RCA here has the uh, the resistor. It's got uh, the wire going the red wire which goes down to the XLR and it has the uh, white wire which is going to go to the amplifier board itself for input. Um, I suggest at this point. Uh, I've done this twice now, and it seems that it's going to be easier to actually put all the wires on the uh, on the back panel first, and then wire those to the circuit boards, as opposed to doing it the other way around. Uh, it means that you have to solder from the top when you connect to the circuit board, but that's not the end of the world. So that's what it looks like for the time being. 